Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, April 23rd, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar and uh, well, it started the week off fantastic, but since then it has basically been declining back towards uh, support here now at this current stage at the, the 40 or now 20 exponential moving average if we drop further we could drop down towards the 100 moving average but we'll most likely uh, most likely find major uh, support down here at the previous um, previous lows at the 1368 uh, we are kind of pulling back we got way up ahead of ourselves and and this pullback was fairly expected so we can look here in the bullish bound for example it got significantly outside of the bullish band and usually when that happened it basically falls back towards the middle so if we break uh, below the middle here we could go back and test these previous lows but at this current stage it um, it is basically holding at the 40 exponential moving average taking indicators they are all turning around at this stage macd is almost crossing the signal line it's still in bullish territory but it's heading towards zero the rsi is in uh, negative uh, momentum the cci is negative momentum and so is the stochastic as well which has crossed the signal line so if we break here we could drop back towards these previous lows and that's a drop of additional 1.26 percent uh, rallies from here then we'll most likely go and test these previous highs again but it looks fairly bearish at this current stage if you look at those technical indicators so if you look at the us dollar japanese yen we have basically been basically doing nothing the last um, three trading days we have occasional rally towards the, the 40 exponential but uh, we have basically been broken breaking down so we'll have a crossing here of the 20 and the 50 moving average and that usually is a very bullish shine if you look at other technical indicators we are significantly oversold in this currency pair so pullback could be expected at uh, any point MACD is still very bearish, the CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is still in negative territory, but has crossed the signal line. So we could see a rally up towards the middle of the bullish band that is just above the uh, 20 exponential, uh, probably before going back towards the 100 moving average. It looks like this rally has basically come to an end. And considering uh, how bearish these technical indicators are, um, it looks like rallies at this point will basically be sold into. So let's look at the US dollar, Japan, uh, no, Euro and US dollar. And as you can see, we have found major resistance here at the 100 moving average. We have stayed here for roughly four days now, and uh, it doesn't look like we're going to trend above the 100 moving average. And that could mean that we'll fall back towards all the way down towards the 300 moving average if the 50 moving average, for example, breaks. So this is a drop of give or take um, nearly 2% all the way down towards the bottom of the bullish band so probably we'll have a testing of the of the middle of the bullish band which is roughly at the 50 moving average if you look at the technical indicators we have the macd is in positive territory and um, it looks like it's leveling off so it's far away from the signal line however the rsi is very bearish the cci is becoming bearish and the stochastic has crossed the signal line but it's still in bullish territory so if this breaks the 50 moving average, then this could drop all the way down to the 300 level again. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. And as you can see, we are just hovering right above the 50 moving average. So the last, you can see the last rallies, they look very similar to the to, to this rally. So we did rally here, basically created the shooting star, rally here, creating the shooting star. And it looks like we have creating the same conditions here again. If the 20 exponential basically breaks, then we'll head back towards the 150 moving average down here at, at um, uh, well, 150 moving average. And that's a drop of a minus 1.27%. Rallies from here, we need to take out these previous highs in order to go all the way up to 0 0.8. We got way up ahead of ourselves. We are basically pulling back towards the middle of the bullish band here. But if that breaks, then we can drop all the way down to the very bottom of the bullish band. That's a drop. Of give or take 1.9 percent if you look at technical indicators otherwise they are all turning around and are fairly bearish at this current stage so let's look at the us dollar canadian dollar and this has basically been all over the place this week we saw a massive rally here earlier this week then broke down when we hit the 100 moving average and now we're just settled underneath the 20 exponential moving average so if you look at 
past um, past uh, movements in this uh, currency bear, then uh, rallies up towards the 100 moving average have been met by basically a massive sell-off. So we can see it here. You can also see it here when we got very close to the 150. And we can also see that when we get close to the 50 moving average, we have also seen these sell-offs. So it looks like we're just repeating um, historical patterns. Getting close to the 50 moving average, we have been here for a really long time. And we're usually when you don't break uh, above a certain level, which we haven't done for a very long time, it technically tends to go the other way around. So if you look at Technion Giddish, then the MACD is very bearish at this point. The RSI is very bearish and the CCI is bearish and the stochastic is still, is still bullish, but it is slowly turning around here. So rallies up towards the 20 exponential or the middle of the bullish band or even the top of the bullish band that have basically that has basically been met with a massive sell-off. So we will most likely continue and um, falling lower. And if we break these previous lows here of uh, 1236, then we'll, we'll go significantly lower from here. So I don't have any really uh, bullish signs here that this will go higher. As you can see, every single time this has been rallying, it has basically been sold off. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.